Hello my friend, I hope you're having a wonderful day because today is part two of my van build where I'm gonna set up a whole power system and power everything in my van. The system I'll be using is right in front of me and thanks to Jackery for sponsoring this video because they provided all of this equipment. But first, a quick word. I get a lot of emails from different companies trying to get me to promote their products for off-grid living, solar panels, all different accessories, and I always give a good look at them, but they don't typically turn out to be good quality. And I don't wanna recommend something that I don't think is good quality to you because I don't wanna waste your time or money. I always test everything first, and I've been using this system on my truck camper for the past month, and I honestly feel it's one of the best quality systems available right now for portable power and storage of this nature and size. I have this weird nerdy obsession with solar power and storing energy off grid and I would love to build a cabin with sustainable and solar energy one of these days. There's a lot of nitty gritty that goes into those details and I'm not gonna bore you with them. Today, I'm just gonna use some real life examples of powering everything in my van. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back. Now that I'm back inside the van, I wanted to talk about two things that stuck out in my mind after part one of the van build. Number one being that I will be strapping down everything in this van before taking off. Once I know where I want to put everything, I'm going to strap down, secure things with bolts, whatnot. I'm not going to go riding off into the sunset with a bunch of moving projectiles. Don't worry. The second thing was I got a lot of comments saying there's no way that girl's going to power that microwave. We should all help each other come up with solutions on how to solve problems. That way we'd all get further in life. I am going to power that microwave and I'm going to show you how. So let's get into it. This is the Jackery Explorer 1500 portable power station and it's great because it has a lithium ion battery for storing power, a pure sine wave inverter, and a solar charge controller. That means I can charge it with the solar panels that I had out in front of the van or I can plug it into the wall with an AC adapter or I can charge it while I'm going down the road because I can plug it right into the 12 volt lighter socket. A while ago, I did a video on a full installation on a solar panel setup on my old truck camper. It had the batteries, the panels, the inverter, the solar charge controller, the wires, the fuses, all of that. Sounds really confusing and overwhelming. It took time to learn how to do it. And if you do it wrong and you burn your camper down, you're out of luck. Instead, you can use something like this and includes all of that in one with an optional plug and play solar panel setup. It's super easy to use and so portable. So if I wanna use it in my van for a while, but then I wanna move it and upgrade it to another build down the road, no big deal. There's no uninstallation. I don't lose it when I lose this van. That's why it's great for so many uses. Off-grid cabins, camper vans, RVs, emergency situations, portability is key. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the features on this Jackery 1500, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna power all the appliances in my van. On the front, there's a screen. The main thing you'll notice first is the percentage of power left. Right now it says 92% battery left. That's great. To the left of that is the input reader. That's how much power is going into the battery. There are two independent power charging ports. So you can charge them simultaneously and independently. You can use your solar panels, you can use a 12 volt battery source, or you can use an AC adapter. Any of those work. Next, you have your USB charging ports right below it. To the right, you have your AC adapter charging ports, which are using the inverter, and then you have the standard 12 volt socket port. Then on the screen, you'll notice there's an output reading. So this is showing how much power is being output by the battery. Right now, I have my fridge plugged in and it's pulling 37 watts of power. At that power level, it also shows an estimate of how many hours of power I have left. So at 37 watts of power, I have around 21 hours of battery left. That's great because then if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I have a rough idea of how much battery power I have left until I'm plumb out. The number of hours left will fluctuate based on the cycle on the fridge or if it's pulling more energy than usual or if it's trying to actively cool. So that's something to remember. And if I have more appliances plugged in at once, it's also gonna pull more power and then I'm gonna have less battery hours left. It's also important to remember you can have this thing plugged in and charging 
while you're using it. So I could have my solar panels plugged in right now, charging the battery while I'm pulling power for the fridge. And I think that's about it. If you want a full list of the specification and a breakdown on the features, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to power all the appliances. I already have the fridge plugged in, but next I'm going to heat up some leftover chili in the microwave and boil some water for some coffee. Okay, so I know that my setup looks a little bit ridiculous. Normally I wouldn't have my fridge out front with my microwave sitting on top and the hot burner right on top of that. But I just wanna to prove to you that the Jackery is going to power it and that I'm not hooking all this up to some random extension cord plugged into some random power source. First, I'm going to heat up my chili. So we're going to take the cord to the microwave, which is right here and I'm going to plug it right in oh it's the magical sound it's already got power now I'm going to take the door open it put my leftover chili in close the door and since I don't really have any way of seeing the front I'm just gonna hit the magic one minute button look at that it is actively heating my leftover chili if you see the jackery screen shows that the output is 1079 watts so that's a lot higher than when the fridge was just idling and at this much power being pulled i only have about 1.2 hours at this level That's a magical sound. And 1.2 hours doesn't seem like very long to have that much power being pulled, but let's be honest, you don't use your microwave for one hour. You're only gonna use it for about a minute at a time. So once it's done, it's now pulling only 35 watts and I have around 20 hours of battery life left. So I'm gonna pull out my hot chili. getting pretty hungry so and see I don't know if you can see the steam but it is hot and it smells delicious and I'm going to enjoy it and I can't wait first I have to show you boiling water I'm gonna unplug the microwave okay and now I'm going to take the hot plate I'm going to plug that in and then I'm going to add some water add some water Gonna add the lid on and I'm going to turn the dial to I don't know three or so and right now if you look at the Jackery display it shows that it's pulling 658 watts of power and I have approximately two hours left at that output no 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 I have black bean chili in here it's so good it's extra spicy just the way I like it can't wait to eat it. The premise is I can power my microwave, my hot plate, and my refrigerator all with my Jackery. Not to mention I'll still have plenty of power left to power my e-bike battery, my laptop, my cell phone battery, anything I might want to power, there's plenty of juice left for it. And it shows I have 88% right now. The e-bike battery also brings up a thought that sticks out in my mind. I saw a comment on my e-bike video that said how are you gonna charge your e-bike battery when it dies you're gonna plug it into a tree i can charge it with my jackery there's usually a solution if you keep an open mind now that my water's boiling it's time to make some of my mushroom coffee look at that i have hot coffee and I have hot chili. Okay, so now that I've successfully installed this portable power system in a matter of minutes, 
If you're interested in learning how to do the same thing with your van build or your RV or off-grid cabin, make sure you check out the link in the description below where you can learn all about it. Another note on this power setup, if you are on a budget and you can't afford this type of setup, there are still alternatives. You could always use a really nice cooler. I think they stay cold for at least five days. You just have to replace the ice and you could use a portable camping stove. Make sure you don't cook inside though. Definitely do that outside. You might get caught or asked to leave because it's a little weird when you're sitting outside your van in the parking lot heating up chili, but you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy some YouTube videos and get ready for my next adventure. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.